Well, welcome to week three of the This Sustainable House Aquaponics Trial. Um, not an awful lot has happened this week, or maybe a little bit has. So basically we'll start with the um, uh, deep water culture bed. As you can see, we've got some amazing growth. We've planted um, pretty much all of the um, uh, cups now, and we do have some more cups to go in along here, which will start happening in the next week or two. And I've put a range of different things in here just to really test it out. So we've got some um, uh, mint here, which I, I put in last, last week. Um, I've got a, a cucumber here, which I'm, um, I'm trialling. Um, our lettuces are doing really well. You can see this one here. Like this, this little lettuce here has been um, uh, in for two weeks now, and you can see the growth is just phenomenal. And if you pull him out, you can see the, the, the amount of roots that he has, has, has grown into the water. So, you know, they're, they're doing really, really, really well. Um, so, by and large, the trial is doing extraordinarily well. I haven't had any major major failures um, yet, so you know I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. The only major thing that I or only not major thing, the only thing I have had happen with this bed was last weekend I actually put in a new aquaponics gravel grow bed, which is this bed just here. And um, unfortunately, because you can never get all the dirt off the gravel when it comes, I did wash it, but um, the the dirt did get into the water and it made the water extraordinarily turbid for a few days and it's still quite turbid now that it is settling out as as the cycles um, flush so um so some of the plants in here will have had um, will have picked up um, dust particles that were in the water floating in the water on their roots and that will impact on their um, oxygen absorption through their roots so hopefully that won't cause any major issues they'll look out some other roots but it could be a little problem as you can see, the peas are going gangbusters. So last week, I think the peas were about here somewhere, maybe up here, but we've got some extra growth on top of that. I've had a few peas off it. They've only just started to come into fruit, but you can see there's some pods in there, just like that there. And the flowers, are, there's not so many on this side, but if you go onto the sun, sunny side of the plant, you can see there's quite a few flowers around and lots that haven't opened yet this morning. Um, the gravel grow beds, the established gravel grow beds are doing really, really well. Um, you can see the silver beet that I haven't actually picked any of this silver beet since this of this plant since um, uh, last week, and you can see just how how much that has grown. And um, and you can see the cabbages, for instance, this heart is just stunning inside this cabbage. So the gravel grow beds are coming along really, really well. This was a trial. This is actually. Um, a cutting I took of Warrigal Greens, which is uh, all New Zealand spinach, and um, I've got that growing elsewhere in the property, and I um, just pulled a piece off and stripped the leaves off it and stuffed it in here, and it's starting to grow now, so that it indicates that it, that's going to work really well. And of course our new gravel grow bed, so um, this is a, um, a grow bed from um, uh, a commercial grow bed as opposed to the IBCs, has about 700 kilos of, of gravel in it, and is, and is about 500 litres um, uh, in, in size, as, as, a, as an empty size, it'll probably be about 200 litres, 220 litres to to fill in, in the cycle because of the displacement of the gravel. But as you can see, I've only planted a few things in here now. Um, it's just running this week, basically, just to get, get it right. We've got the um, a little bit of sage here and a little bit of sage there. We've got a cucumber here and a cucumber there. Now, it's still very early um, for cucumbers in this part of the world. So um, over the next day or two, we've got some frosts forecast for the next couple of days. I'll actually build some little covers that'll go over them, like little cloches that'll go over them and protect them a bit. Um, but the plan is here is to actually put a, a trellis up along that side and along the back. And these are both um, telephone cucumbers. So they grow like quite nice cucumbers and grow those up on that side. So that should be really, really nice. Easy to harvest from, um, from the other side and, and obviously from the path there. So that should be really great. The only, um, apart from that, there's no other major changes. The spider valve is working really well, and um, I did say I'd cover that this this week, but I'll actually um, I'll, I'll leave that to another post on my website. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, go to thissustainablehouse.com.au. That's thissustainablehouse.com.au, um, and check out the new aquaponics bed uh, video because on that on that video there's a um, there, there's an explanation of how the spider valve works and and, and how it operates. Um, and as I said, because of the water is very turbid, we won't bother looking at the fish today because you won't see much anyway. Um, they will rise to the surface to eat, but uh, the water is very, very turbid, so you won't see very much at all. But anyways, that's the, the Sustainable House um, aquaponics update for this week. Probably a touch longer than I was expecting to, to do today, but um, still, it's, it's pretty good. Everything's going really, really well.